Hey, this is Don, Don Kryptonium. And if you like crypto, positivity, and love, a lot of love, remember, like this video and comment on this video and share this with your friends because today we are going to discuss very positive subject. We are going to discuss Agoric, which is probably one of the most interesting projects in the Cosmos ecosystem. And I think it's the best time to discuss Agoric. We are going to discuss what's Agoric, what's Agoric protocol, team, funding of Agoric, and surely I'm going to focus on the stablecoin because I believe the stablecoins are one of the most important piece of the crypto revolution that is happening, and there is a lot of possibilities in stablecoin market. So that will be my focus. Of course, I'm also going to discuss the price with you. That's what you want. I'm not investment advisor uh, or anything like this. So this is just the speculation. It's just my talking, uh, making content. What I'm going to start, it's, uh, what is Agoric? Agoric is this protocol, smart contract platform, and it's quite novel because it is bringing JavaScript developers to blockchain. It's uh, making it possible for JavaScript developers to deploy apps, I believe mainly focused on the DeFi around its stablecoin ecosystem. So from the beginning, let's check how much money Agoric has and what was the funding of Agoric. Um, early in 2018, it was the seed round by led by the Polychain Capital, or maybe it wasn't even led, so a uh, very respected, uh, you know, investor. It was also Zcash Foundation. So this is really interesting. And I remember I did learn about this, that Zcash uh, has the big uh, piece of pine agoric, is very bullish. And if you want the trusted source, I think Zcash Polychain, great investors. And there is also Naval Ravikant. So if you don't know Naval, is this very rich guy who tried to be also a philosopher. Um, but it's also fixated on uh, crypto and open source. Uh, one year later, they raised additional $4 million. I'm not sure what was the amount of the first one. I read somewhere it was maybe three, um, um, but don't take my word. Probably was not not too much, you know. So the next year was some investor, Gumi Cryptos. I'm seeing in, uh, if there is something interesting. And Interchain. So Interchain Foundation, uh, that is led foundation in the Cosmos ecosystem development, also has piece of pie. Um, then was one more round by this Bossa Nova. What is this? Can I see it? Bossa Nova Investimentos. Uh, okay, they like seems involved in like uh, a lot of this 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 fund. So let's go to the final uh, fund private funding round, and again led by Polychain, I believe. And here I have also some. Uh, recognizable names once again naval increase the stake chorus one a big participant of the cosmos ecosystem also figment so i would say like really great set of investors and also they had ico that really boost the bank account so uh, those who invest in ico of course underwater but they raised a lot of money you know we it states here 52 uh they raised actually close to 100 million dollars very well funded and if we look at the market cap, you know, it's at 130 million. It's not fully uh, unlocked yet. So you need to pay attention to this, that there will be a lot of unlocks from the venture capital. And actually at some point, the market cap was below the cash, you know, but it, I want to make clear that doesn't mean anything, you know, like, you know, the cash in the crypto uh, in relation to the market cap doesn't mean that much. So as the second, let's look at the distribution of the of the token uh, that is over here. So the public sale, the people who are under the water, uh, 70 million Agoric tokens, which is BLD token, 7%. Um, so it's monthly vesting for 1.5 year and it started in the March this year. So you need to know, um, some people who are in financial pain, you need to, they probably will be selling, maybe not, maybe they are holding, but if you wonder about price performance, you want to be cautious, you need to know. And there is 11 month cleave. Uh, community ecosystem, early backers. So early backers, you have this first seed rounds and they got amazing deal. They're up so much. And 
two year monthly vesting with one year cleave. So this might be, and this private sale. So this is the, the largest uh, fund probably led by um, Polychain. Also uh, two year or four year monthly vesting with one year cleave. So there will be like for the next two years, you can expect there will be selling pressure in the Agoric. So this is what I want to focus, uh, how much investors have. Okay, they have a lot of money. Uh, is it actually good team? Okay, I can tell you that this will be just my opinion. Uh, you never know with the people, but they are very transparent. And you can learn a lot about the chief scientist and chief executive officer. You know, um, the team is fully doxxed with years of experience. So that's just a quick note. Um, you can check them and you can find plenty interviews about them, their story. Hopefully I will get the interview with them. So what is the Agoric focus? My, be my belief is that Agoric focus will be the stablecoin market. Not only Agoric. Um, stablecoins are one of the most important invention in the crypto. Um, the market potential is absolutely massive, accounting for trillions of dollars if the crypto will work. Right now, market cap at 140 billion. Um, over 15%. Um, at the times close to 20% of the of the market cap. So th that's insane. You know, like it's, is it half of the Bitcoin uh, as of now? Yes, yeah, stable coins are close to half of the Bitcoin now. And they are rather like new invention. The danger, of course, Tether, okay? Half of the stable coin market is Tether. Uh, but we don't know if Tether can cover. So... Don't get me wrong, the Agoric stablecoin is meaningless right now. It's only $1 million, but let's look at this and let's check the white paper of the stablecoin. Many people is cautious, so you want to ensure that it's stable, it works well. Um, so what you can learn, it uh, achieves stability with three different based uh, arbitrage mechanisms that work together to maintain parity with the USD. They have different speeds, tracks, from wide to narrow band of parity to maximize the opportunities for arbitrage to bring USD back to parity in the case of depegging from USD. So um, mechanism, parity, uh, stability module. The first one I would say an arbitrage is fast. So this will be probably having parity with the stable coins and I think the major role will be USDC here. Then we have valutes and the whitelisted asset approved by the, uh, you know, Agoric DAO. So what will be used there? Maybe Atom. I believe they don't want to use the BLD token for that, right? Because it brings the danger. And there will be also BLD boost and it will be staked BLD. So this will be widespread and arbitrage will be slow. Um in addition to this arbitrage mechanism, reserve pool fully owned by the inter-protocol providers to emergency backstop in extreme circumstances. Good. What are the values? Smart contracts where users lock up crypto assets as collateral to mint you IST. So as it will be over collateralized, let's say you have $100 in the Atom. You can lock it up and you can mint, uh, you know, stable coin to, to use it for whatever reasons. What is my question? You know, like, um, I'm, I'm not going to read. Like, reading this all is, is quite uh, pointless. Uh, you know, we, we know that they will try to be secure. They will try to have the different mechanisms, parity, stability model, reserve pool, and, you know, levels of protection such as over collaris Tarization, liquidation mechanism. So if the market is very volatile, you will be liquidated. Reserve pool and the fees generated by IST and the issuance of the of the BLD tokens. Huh. Wonder. Like really want to learn about this. Um so the the thing is um Tether, $70 billion market cap. You need to know that Tether, for example, making 2 to $3 billion a year. USDC, $2 billion a year. Massive opportunity. Uh, surely the big guys will want to have massive exposure because easy money. 
this sits on the bank deposits for people to use it on the blockchain, but the Tether earns all the money. And I believe USDC earns all the money. I Perfect business model. So my question is, if the, com if the people can also get exposure to this opportunity of earning uh, yield and and that when when there would be but the real yield right on the bank deposits um that I mean that that sits there you know on the on the interest rate or or something I'm I'm super interested there but this will be surely more decentralized there in USDC and if the Cosmos ecosystem gets adoption that will be major driv driver of uh, the agoric uh, ecosystem over here, right? So uh, let's have a look uh, at the, what I wanted to, what I wanted to do more, what an ecosystem. So as I said, the main driver will be the stable coins. I don't know why they try to do also NFT apps. I don't know any other apps will be led. I have the feeling that Agoric will be focused on this, like, as I said, DeFi driven by the stable coins. And, and hopefully, like, allowing the people building their own systems where they can actually participate in the stablecoin economy. Um, and, you know, considering the team, I think the stablecoin can be really interesting. Um, they will have some competitors, but considering uh, the amount of money they have, the mountains of cash, the great team... Support from the Interchain Foundation, uh, Venture Capital, great builders like Zaki Manian. Um, Agoric probably will be very aggressive in the strategy, but also it seems that this stable coin will be very secure. Um, and we will be, and, and if people want to have secure option, uh, Agoric should be this first choice of the centralized coin. But remember, let me know what do you think um about this uh you know I, I i do want to learn if i have missed something uh as i said like you know agoric going up now in the in the price uh interesting i'm, I'm not gonna get exposure yet uh, i think i have two years to to actually build something uh, when it comes to validator set, you know, IP APR, great. They not going to have probably insane sell pressure. Paul Catru, interesting non-investor. Like, you know, it's great to see like um, rather like single man army. Maybe he employed someone to be number one. Figment, you know, some venture capital, maybe good mix. Uh, some people complain that how much they are in the pockets on the VC funds. But if we have difficult five years ahead, difficult 10 years ahead, um, Agoric has chance to, to survival. You know, they got great deal with this ICO sale. So we are going to see um, stablecoin. Good opportunity. And there will be much more invention in this, in this area. So we'll see how Agoric played uh, play it down. I hope you like this video. Share it. Love, love. Happy, happy. Much positivity. Hopefully, Don Kryptonium will be liked by everyone. Happy, happy. And gets money. Till the next time.